Hi everyone, Stockmo here. Today's video is for entertainment purposes only, and boy, we got old Tesla Cat here. He hasn't been in a video in a while. For all those Ethereum bears out there, boom, 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 that was from him. It's been a while. Now, we're gonna talk about what is going on with Ethereum and Bitcoin. It, you know, this has been a fantastic weekend. I did expect to see some upward pressure from that London hard fork coming out. We're gonna take a look at the countdown on that and some of the price predictions out there that are coming out of the woodwork to talk about where they see this going over the long term. Stick around. I think you're gonna like what I got for you. For those new to the channel, I am Stockmo, an old financial advisor and educator. Now I do this YouTube thing. All I ever ask, hit the subscribe button, absolutely annihilate that like button, hit the little bell for notifications, hit all. I do have some offers down below to help you out. The first one is Moomoo. Moo. They're giving you up to four free stocks worth up to $3,350. Highly recommend this. They have free level two market data and they have access to some international markets. Very, very smart to have this as an option in your trading. Now I also have the BlockFi link down below as well. They're giving you up to 250 in free Bitcoin for depositing in there. Take advantage of that, paying interest on your crypto, and they got some neat credit card offers coming out where you're gonna get paid back in crypto. So highly recommend that as well. And I do have my Patreon. If you haven't come on over and joined us, we have my portfolios over there as well as all my buys and sells in just a private Discord with thousands of members. Now let's get into what is happening today in the crypto space. Lots of action over the weekend. A lot of people writing me, what is going on? Why, why is everything blowing up? Well, let's dive into it and see what, why we're making this money. As we look at the Bitcoin price for over the last 24 hours, you'll see it, it's up there at 41,487. I was so glad to see this thing break 40,000. It's holding up nicely. We did see some downturn uh, since last night and moved down and now it's starting to come back up a little bit. Over the last 24 hours, you're looking at only a half a percent up. But more importantly, it's holding above the $40,000 mark, which to me was a big thing. Now, looking at that, I showed you over the last month how Bitcoin in some of the prior videos was crossing crushing Ethereum. And that, to me, is a little bit rare. When you see Bitcoin rolling up, I expect Ethereum to actually surpass it in the monthly gains because I do believe the flipping, as they call it, where Ethereum will be have a bigger and larger market cap than Bitcoin will happen very soon. To me, very soon means in under five years. I actually think there's a good chance of seeing it in the next two to three. But that's because I'm very optimistic about Ethereum and I do believe the bullish case for Ethereum outweighs Bitcoin by multiples. And that's just me though. Now, if we look over the last day, 9.37% up compared to what I just told you with Bitcoin, only a half percent. This is one of the reasons I've been consistently bringing up that I invest about 90% of my crypto money in Ethereum because I do see the benefits of Ethereum moving forward easily outweighing Bitcoin. Doesn't mean Bitcoin's not gonna do well. I have a lot of Bitcoin in my portfolio as well. And like I do, I share that over at the Patreon for those who'd like to see it. But I do think Ethereum over the next five to 10 years is absolutely gonna crush Bitcoin in terms of gains. It means Bitcoin's gonna make money too. Those Bitcoin ETS in the US will come out eventually. Same thing with Ethereum. We're gonna talk a little bit about this. But as we look at this and you say, okay, what about the last month, Mo? Uh, last month, it's been 23.87% for Bitcoin, which is a fantastic gain for 30 days. And then we go to Ethereum though, and this is where it was lagging, but take a look. It's not lagging anymore. It only took a good day of uh, popping that price, and now we see Ethereum has once again surpassed Bitcoin, and I love seeing that. And as I look at the one-year chart, 703% up, and then as we go into Bitcoin for the one-year chart, 273% up. So you're looking at two and a half times more money you made by investing in Ethereum over the last year, which I can vouch for that. I have been buying Ethereum and Bitcoin. I've been in the industry for about 10 years and mining and buying, investing. I've done a lot of the different parts and I gotta tell you, I love this. I love this field. I love being invested in cryptocurrencies. To me, this is going to be around forever. I know there's a lot of naysayers out there and bears that think, oh, you know, it's too good to be true, this, that, and the other thing. There's there's no way it's gonna upset everything else. But yet here we go, we see things changing and we see the big companies coming out and jumping into it. And we're gonna talk a little bit about that. 
So as we see Ethereum continuing to outperform Bitcoin over that year time, you gotta like what you're seeing, especially in the news. So the biggest thing coming down right now is this. So here we go, we got the Ethereum London upgrade countdown. You got three hours, three days, 15 hours, 21 minutes and a second to go. This is gonna happen at eh, seven, between seven and 8 a.m. on Thursday morning. And that's why I think we're seeing a lot of run up. People are starting to see NFT starting to get a lot of notoriety in the news again. You're seeing uh, the countdown, you're seeing the talk of deflationary pressure. There is a lot of good things going on. And as we get into that, just to run through the news out there, why is the Ethereum price just rolling up? Why is it exploding? And what's going on with the Ethereum price predictions? A lot of people thought they were just silly and ridiculous at the beginning before this run back when it was 1700, I was making my videos, I was still buying. I'm buying some Ethereum tomorrow, matter of fact. And all I kept hearing was, Mo, you know, you could you could take that money, go out and buy some, some other stocks some bonds and stuff. Why do you invest some of your investments into Ethereum? Because if you look at the long-term values of what could come from Ethereum, Bitcoin and everything else, it's huge. And it could create generational wealth that I'm striving for. Yeah, I can go out and buy a, a handful of stocks that might be able to get me eight to 10% a year, which is should be above the market by a little bit. And I'm gonna be happy with that. And that's gonna continually grow and do that. And I do, I have about 80% of my money in those kind of plays. But the other 20% right now, and I'm really risky with this, is going into the crypto space because I do believe it's going to out perform over the next 10 years and I have a long-term perspective on investing. I'm not trying to double my money in a week. I'm not trying to go out there and buy an option that expires in three days and double my money and go you know, all or nothing. I'm trying to do it logically, look at the long-term, take advantage of it, create something that I can hand down to my kids, my grandkids, and just help the next generation have it a little bit easier than I did. And so that's the overall goal. And I do believe this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I should say twice because I had the internet back in the late 90s, early 2000s. Some of the companies I couldn't invest it in, I passed on. Oh, I was such a young guy back then. And that ended up costing. This time around, I'm not making those mistakes. I'm gonna continue to go with the leaders. That's why you hear me talking about Ethereum and Bitcoin and Cardano. I like Cardano too and a few others. But right now you're seeing some big things. So as we look at the usage for Ethereum and everything else, of course, one of the things is NFTs. You can see the volume soared to 2.5 billion in the first six months of 2021. And from what I'm reading in July into today, it has been even more sales out there talking about NFTs. They're having record breaking prices. Some of these things, I just can't believe how much they're going. They're going for millions of dollars for some of them. And I'm gonna be talking about it in the near future because once you see some of these little images that are going for millions, it blows your mind, but it shows you the opportunities out there. People can go out there and create this artwork, sell it, and just be able to make a living off of it, which is fantastic. So now we get into the next article I wanted to bring up. This is a little older one, about a month and a half ago. Goldman Sachs to offer Ethereum futures and options, showing you that even Goldman Sachs sees the value. They're not out there talking about futures and options on all the other coins out there. They're talking about Ethereum, and this is what I mean. Ethereum is getting that legitimacy. It's way past that. It, it is going to be overtaking. I think it's gonna lead all cryptos in the very near future, in the next few years, uh, that it will be Ethereum first and everything else second. I do know that there's some people out there who would disagree with me and they're Bitcoin advocates. I'm with both. I think they're both gonna do well, but I just think Ethereum's just gonna overtake it. It has more, it has more usage, it has more utility than in Bitcoin. And to me personally, Bitcoin has some utility, but nothing compared to what Ethereum has. Right now, the biggest thing for Bitcoin it seems to be the storage of value. And I think Ethereum, that will become something that I believe Ethereum even ha offers better. But we'll have to wait and see for that. The next thing I have for you, look at this. And the ETS is big. And I know they're gonna have to come to the US eventually. You're seeing different countries out there starting to roll this in. I feel good about it. The latest one, this is an article from two weeks ago. Brazilian regulators give green light to Latin America's first Ethereum 
ETF Brazil gets Ethereum ETF. There you go. Other countries around the world are slowly rolling it in. We know Canada had that as well. And uh, we have that three Ethereum ETS gain approval in Canada. So you're starting to see this happen. And what happens with these ETFs is they go out and they have to buy the actual Ethereum, store it, and then you can go out and buy the stock. It's physically backed by the Ethereum that you're buying into. And I love this. It's going to go ahead and just create a big demand by investors who would like to be in it, but they don't want to deal with the wallets and everything else. They just want to buy a stock and be in it. Well, this is going to be the, uh, the, the solution for that. One of the options you have, and I do believe in the U S we will eventually get there. And I'm hoping sometime in 2022 at the latest that we'd get approval. I wouldn't mind seeing this happen in the next five months. You never know. And then I think that alone will go ahead and probably put some pressure on Ethereum to the point that we could see it double or even triple in two years post ETF because of that alone. So that's how much I think that's gonna have an effect on Ethereum, but we're gonna have to wait and see for that. And then of course, my Ethereum price predictions out there, I brought this up again, but I personally feel like Ethereum has an opportunity to hit 10K in 2022. That's my bullish case. My conservative case is 10 to 20 or 10 to 30,000 range by 2025. And so the average that would be around 20. And I know there's some experts out here that I bring up and show the panel of 42 senior cryptocurrency specialists and academics putting the, the biggest brains in the room together to come up with a price for us. You know, I can do my research, look at all the experts, come up with numbers, do my own little math equation, but they, let's just cheat and look off of their test. And so when we do this, we're gonna see that they predicted Ethereum would be worth about $4,596 by the end of this year. So you're looking at five months. Now, you know, back then they had this article out there, I think it was like 17, 18, $1,900 uh, a coin. And a lot of people said, this is ridiculous. And there's not a, it's, it should not do that. But they were taking in all the considerations of Ethereum, you know, moving up to the Ethereum 2.0 with all the upgrades. And they're, to me, they're playing it right. And they can see this by the end of 2021, that'd be fantastic. And uh, uh, right now you see 45.96. Then they said by 2025, $17,810. I argued that people who have portfolios should consider putting 5%, minimum 5%. Some of the articles I read uh, the, uh, argued that anybody investing and having an overall portfolio, even if they hate crypto, should consider putting at least 5% in there just to give you that diversification of assets. I went a little bit above that. I have, I think in crypto altogether, 20% of my portfolio is made up of crypto and most of that is Ethereum. And so I have no problem with that. And uh, of course, some people, when it gets, this is the one I love, by 2030, this is nine years. I know it sounds like it's so far away, but it, it's really not. Time goes quickly. And as you look at this, they predict that it could get up to 71,763. I had 30 to 50,000. That's my conservative. They have it at 71,000. So, you know what, whatever programs they're using, whatever they're looking at, I like it. Let's hope that comes out and hits. I know there's other people who think it's gonna hit 100K by then. If it hits 100K, you're looking at 40 times current value. That is incredible. And so that's why I call this a once in a lifetime opportunity. To think that if you could put in five grand and in nine years, it could be worth $200,000. At the best, everything goes right. That is incredible. And that's why I'm trying to take advantage of this. And even if it doesn't get up there, even if we don't see that kind of growth rate, I still expect it to outperform the stock market in general, but it's more volatile, more risky. It goes up and down 20 to 50% as we just watched over the last few months. And so you gotta watch that and it's difficult because we had it at 1700, now it's up to what, 2600? That's $900 change in price. That's over 50% increase from that seven, 1700 level. So for those investing, you love it. For those dollar cost averaging with me, we, we get it, all right? We understand it's gonna be ups and downs. We look at the red days as opportunities to buy. The green days, sit back and enjoy it. But the volatility is there and it's not going anywhere. It's gonna to continue to roll up as they come out with upgrades and, and I think they are decreasing that supply. I don't think we'll have as much in terms of downward pushing because you're eliminating some of the supply that is going to alleviate some of that volatility in my opinion. 
but we'll have to wait and see how that goes. The more the usage picks up, the more we find ways to use things on the Ethereum blockchain. I'm bringing out some of the things, but let's be honest, in the next 10 years, what other apps are gonna be used on that chain that just pick up uh, the majority of the, the public out there using it and everything else? There are so many things that could be invented that we just don't know. And that's, that's one of the things we've got to sit back and wait for. Uh, I always say it's like having the internet and seeing what kind of websites are going to be on it. We don't know. If we go back to the, the, the 90s and compare it to what kind of sites are on there now, it has changed dramatically. But uh, that is one of the things I'm waiting to watch. And uh, I think e-commerce is going to be big. you got the DeFi space. There's some big things out there I think could be used as this gets upgraded. So that's my update today for it. I'm happy to see Ethereum blowing up. I'm glad to see it starting to once again over the last month outperform Bitcoin. And we'll just have to sit back and see what happens up to this week going up. And the week after, I'm going to be taking notes for the next time this happens so we can make sure we're doing the right things. Not that history is guaranteed repeat, but there are usually some similarities there. So subscribe to the channel. That way, when we have these other updates, you'll know I'm going to be out there doing my homework for you and it'll pass the answers to the test to you. Take a look down below. Get your free stocks, four free stocks from Moomoo Moo right now worth up to well, $3,350, that's a ton of money, highly recommend it, and they give you access to some foreign markets out there, which will help you. And of course, go down and look at the BlockFi link. They are giving you some opportunities as well, up to 250 in free Bitcoin, as well as interest on your crypto holdings. And that's the big thing. Don't let your crypto sit somewhere where you're not getting paid. And then come on over and join me at the Patreon. I have my portfolios and thousands of members in that Discord. It's just a great place and a positive community where we're there to help each other. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.